Tower of Babel and the Three Secret Names of Anu. In Babylonia itself, the primitive cult of the mountains could be carried on only artificially. The sacred mountains of the plain were the mounds which marked the sites of ancient temples or the towers which rose within them in order that the priest may continue on their summits. That close communion with heaven which he had once enjoyed on the high places of the mountain tops. In the story of the deluge, the mountain peak of Nizir, where the rescued hero of the legend built his altar and poured out his offerings, is called a ziggurat or temple tower. Conversely, the mountain of the world was a name given to a temple at Kalar. and the mountain of Sabu, to which the god Zu took his flight, was Kazakh Kalama, the mountain of mankind, an artificial mound near Kis. The most famous of these sacred tells or mounds, however, was the famous Tilu Elu, the illustrious mound at Borsippa, now represented by the bird's eye Nimrod. Nebu, to whom the great temple of Borsippa was dedicated, is called its god. One of the three great or secret names of Anu was that of the Lord who issues forth from the illustrious mound, in reference to the fact that the Akkadian prototype of Nebu was once the universe itself, in which seven spheres of light were set and around which the ocean stream wound like a rope or serpent. When the old god of Borsippa had passed into the Semitic Nebu, the attributes which had formerly connected him with the firmament of heaven were transferred to Anu, the sky god of the official cult. A fragmentary tablet which gives us, as I believe, the Babylonian version of the building of the Tower of Babel expressly identifies it with the illustrious mound. Here we are told that the leader of the rebellion, that when the thought of his heart was hostile and he had wronged the father of the gods, when he was hurrying to seize Babylon and small and great were mingling the mound, the divine king of the illustrious mound intervened. Anu lifted up his hand in front and prayed to his father, the lord of the firmament. All day long he troubled them as they lamented on their couch, he ended not their distress. In his wrath he overthrows the secret council. In his fury he set his face to mingle their designs, he gave the command. The very word that the Hebrew writer uses in order to explain the origin of the name of Babylon, and which the authorized version translates as confound, is here employed of those who mingled together, the mound and whose designs were afterwards themselves mingled by the God of heaven. The illustrious mound was known as far back as the time when the months of the Akkadian year were named. The month which corresponds to the Semitic Tazrit Otisri and our September was the month of the illustrious mound. It would seem, therefore, that the legend had referred to the attempt to build the tower whose head should reach to heaven, to the autumn equinox. 
At any rate, it is clear that the mound of Bor Sippa was not only in existence, but was already in a state of ruin when the Akkadian calendar was drawn up. So the Tower of Babel is as old as the story of Zu. The Greek historian Herodotus later wrote of this ziggurat, which he called Temple of Zeus Belos. And of course, Zu took the role of Bel, hence Zeus Belos. Everything is connected. and subscribe to support the channel for more mentioned.